my luck. Go to take the button out for its maiden voice, and just as I'm beginning to leave the driveway, it starts raining. Figures. We'll see if we can wait this one out.
We're interrupting this program to give you this special news bulletin. If you like this content, I'm asking that you please like and subscribe to the channel and maybe leave some nice words of encouragement in the comment section. Thank you. We now return back to our regularly scheduled programming. After the, the battery on the camera died, I really didn't have much else, but it did stall on me, which I was trying to not get it to do because, well, this just completely broke off. Yep, that's going to need to be replaced. So after it stalled, I pulled the cable out of there, out of the spring thing, cut, out, cut it off, um, tried winding around the top of the machine, pulled it, and it actually started. So I was able to get it to start. However, I couldn't engage the blades and have the um, drive wheel drive on the wheels go. If I shut off the blades, the drive on the wheels would work. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that, whether the belt was heating up too much or what. I'll have to go ahead and try to look at it. Maybe it's just an adjustment. But that was really odd. So I ended up taking it while I still had, the, I knew I had drive wheels. Put it back up on the trailer and I pulled out the Ego and the 21 inch mower to the rescue because that's what I used to finish up the yard. So the buttons first go around on making some money. Yeah, it was an epic fail. I mean, I still made money, but it, without the assist from the Ego, it, it wouldn't have worked out. So I got to figure out what's going on with that and Hopefully I can get the button back up and running. But if you, as you can see, one of the things that benefited me too is at one point in time, I just took the Sulk or the Valky off, ditched it, and started using it as a regular walk behind. It worked so much better when I did that. Uh, I don't think the Valky is going to work well for that machine. So I'll probably just shove that away and maybe someday, I don't know, maybe I'll just sell it. I don't know. But the Velky really did not work well for that machine, so it worked very well as a walk behind. But I think that's because the drive was already beginning to kind of go. So I'll have to figure out exactly what's going on with that if it's the belt's getting too hot. I mean, anybody's got any suggestions, you know, it seemed like I engaged the PTO, the drive would go out. I took the PTO off, the drive would go. There are two separate belts that connect to the one crank. One goes forward for the PTO, the other one goes backwards for the drive. Two separate belts. Uh, both connect to the crank. One one pulley assembly with two pulleys on it. I I don't know. I don't I don't get why that would happen. So anybody has any suggestions what's causing that, go ahead, put it down in the comments because I'm I'm at a loss right now. I don't know why it was doing that. So but while I had the drive, I wanted to get it back up on the trailer, so that's what I did finished up with the ego this was just a total epic fail so i'm gonna go get the button off the trailer go get the time cutter put back on and yeah back to the button but heck every cloud has its silver lining this month will mark two years since i've gotten this machine and it got out for the first time and made me some money so I guess you know that there's that silver lining it finally did something good job don't break down so much all right i'll see you next time god bless